What's going ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to the video. Today I'm doing race 6 for the 2024 Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series heads at her second mile and a half of the 2024 season at Tex Motor Speedway, a one and a half mile track in Fort Worth, Texas. The last time we ran your Tex Motor Speedway, we saw William Byron pick up Hendry Motorsports 300th win in the NASCAR Cup Series and his sixth win of 2023. He's looking to go back to back this weekend and get his fourth win of the 2024 season this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. But before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is looking extremely promising. It's going to be 83 degrees of high with 66 degrees low with a 0% chance of rain with partly cloudy skies. going to be some pretty decent weather. It's going to be a little warm out in Texas, but not too bad for what Texas can be around this time. Some pretty decent weather if you're headed out to Texas Motor Speedway. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's how picks work on the channel. I usually do two suck picks, two drivers. I expect a struggle go out throughout the weekend who've been having a little bit of bad stretch as of recently. I do two underdog picks, two drivers. I expect to run well under front of equipment or have a good run or been good at this type of track. And I do my winner's pick, the driver thinks is going to win the race overall. And I do the ones you need to watch out for. And usually for the Cup Series, I do five drivers you need to watch out for. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400? My first suck pick for this week in a Texas Motor Speedway is a driver of the 21 car for the Wood Brothers, Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton has struggled immensely so far in 2024. He only has one finish inside the top 25 in that 21 car, and they really haven't shown the pace in outright speed. They really need to get it together because Harrison Burton is on the hot seat currently at this particular moment. I'm not even sure if he's going to finish a year at this point, how much he's been struggling so far. He has like a 27th, like 30th place average finish or something like that. He really needs to turn the corner, and sadly, I don't think that's going to happen this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. My second suck pick for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the eight car for Richard Schultz Racing, Kyle Busch. This is going to be a little bit of shock considering I have Kyle Busch winning the Truck Series race to later today, but Kyle Busch I think is going to struggle. The RCR has been a little bit of a ridiculous, not great organization so far this season. They haven't had the outright pace and the outright speed overall since the beginning of the year. They've had a lot of pit crew problems, and there's been a lot of other major issues that have been coming to play for Kyle Busch this season. And sadly, I don't think things are going to change. I know this A car tenantly did win a couple years ago, but I don't trust Kyle Busch right now. I think he sadly is going to struggle this weekend in that A car at Texas Motor Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to underdog picks for this weekend at Texas. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the 43 car for Legacy Motor Club, Eric Jones. Eric Jones has been a little quiet so far in 2024, but not been too bad, all things considered. And Eric Jones, the last time he ran here while he did crash out, he was one of the fastest cars on the racetrack and ran top 5 and top 10 a majority of the race. I think Eric Jones is going to contend for top 10 this weekend, or maybe even a top 5. The Toyotas have been really solid so far throughout the 2024 season, and I think Legacy Motor Club is starting to build some momentum. So therefore, I think that Eric Jones is going to have a pretty solid performance, and I think he will have a decent chance for maybe a top 5 this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. My second underdog pick for this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway is the driver of the 42 car for Legacy Motor Club, John Hunter Nemechek. John Nemechek has probably been one of the biggest surprises in a good way so far in 2024. He has scored a lot of stage points and is still inside the top 20 in the standings nearly a quarter of the way through the season, which is better than I thought he was going to be. On top of that as well, he won here the last time the Xfinity Series race here, and he's gotten a couple Truck Series victories at this track as well. I think John Nemechek is going to be an underdog to get the victory. Like I said, the Toyota's have been showing a lot more pace and speed, and I think that John Hunter Nemechek will be a decent threat and a contender for maybe a top 10 this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for the 2024 Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400. Who is my winner's pick? The driver picking a win is a driver that is not part of one of the big organizations that have won so far this year because so far, Joe Gibbs Racing and Hendrick Motorsports have dominated the season with victories. JGR has gotten four win, three or four wins so far this year, and we've seen so far Hendrick Motorsports score four victories. But I don't think any of those organizations are going to win. The driver picking a win this weekend had one of the strongest cars here last time, and that's the driver of the 23 car for 2311 Racing, Bubble Walls. I think Bubba Wallace is going to victory lane. 
He's been getting faster the last two weeks. He just scored his third top five of the season. He's been much quicker the last couple races. And I think Bubba Wallace has had some pretty good pace at a lot of the races as of recently. I think he's going to contend for a win. I think this 23 team's been getting better. I know the picker's been a little bit of issue so far this year, but I do believe that Bubba Walls is finally going to go to victory lane for the first time in nearly a year and a half. I'm picking Bubba Walls to pick up win number one of 2024 this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. So now we're going to go ahead and jump on the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at Texas. Who should you keep your eyes out on? The first driver to watch out for for this week in a Texas is the driver of the five car for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson has been extremely strong so far in 2024. I think he's got like three or four top fives throughout the year. He had that win earlier this year at Las Vegas, another mile and a half racetrack. And he's been one of the most consistent drivers so far this season as well. I think Kyle Larson is going to have a really good chance and opportunity. He also did testing at Indianapolis, which we're going to talk about later this week. I think Kyle Larson did a really, really great job there. But I think he's going to be a serious threat and serious contender to pick up win number two of 2024 this weekend at Texas. The second driver to watch out for for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the 11 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin looks like a serious threat and a serious contender. We know he had a little beef and issues with Marcus Smith recently, but Denny Hamlin has been really good at Texas Motor Speedway, scoring three or four wins in his Cup Series career up to this point at this track. I think Denny Hamlin is going to be a serious threat, and I do believe he'll be a serious contender for the victory this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. The third driver to watch out for for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports, William Byron. I think William Byron is a championship favorite currently at the moment. The 2014 has been having a lot more speed, and he's been one of the guys to be up front on a consistent basis. And, of course, he won the last time we were here at Texas Motor Speedway. So, therefore, I think William Byron will be a pretty big threat, and I think he will be a serious contender to go to victory lane and might be able to go back-to-back -back and get his fourth win of 2024. The fourth driver to watch out for for this week in Texas is the driver of the nine car for Hendrick Motorsports, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott is showing a lot more speed over the course of the last few weeks. He has scored multiple top five finishes. In fact, he's just had back-to-back -back top fives for the first time since, I think, Nashville and Chicago. And he's been getting a lot faster and closer to winning races. And Chase, while he's not been amazing at this track, he's had some decent runs. I think Chase Elliott would be a serious right and serious contender, and I think he could get his third straight top five this weekend at Texas Motor Speedway. And the fifth final driver I think you should watch out for for this weekend at Texas is a driver of the 12 car for Team Penske, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney did win the also race here back in 2022, and Ryan Blaney has been pretty good at Texas Motor Speedway throughout his NASCAR Cup Series career. I think Ryan Blaney is going to be a threat to get it done. He's been the best four driver all together so far this year. He's the only four driver inside the top 10 in points. I think that Ryan Blaney will have a good opportunity and shot. I think he certainly will be a serious threat and potential contender to get it done this weekend in Texas. I think he'll be up front going for the victory. So, those are my race picks for the Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Harrison Burton, Kyle Busch. My underdog picks are Eric Jones, John Hunter Nemechek. My winner's pick is Bubble Walls. And the ones to watch out for are Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, William Byron, Chase Sully, and Ryan Blaney. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be it for the race picks video for the 2024 Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 400 at Texas. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, notifications on, and if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support on Patreon as well. Let's go to below that and comment with your picks below for this weekend at Texas. Let me know your suck picks, let me know your underdog picks, let me know your winner's pick, and let me know your drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Texas. Let me know your picks in the comments below. Later today on the channel, I'm have a video talking about the short track package that NASCAR needs to fix. I also have the Truck Series Race Review for Texas Motor Speedway. Then tomorrow on the channel, I'm going to have the poll reaction video. I'm going to have the Xfinity Series Race Review. And then, of course, I'm going to have the SVG video, depending on how he performs. Then tomorrow, on Sunday, I should say, I'll have the starting lineup video for Texas. And I will have the, the race review for Texas as well. Got a ton of great content dropping on the channel that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.